Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to make Zoom meeting live on Facebook with free version. Yes, if we are using free version of Zoom means we can able to live stream the Facebook option so that audience can view lively whatever we are making the webinar or seminar anything else. Yes, the free version also Facebook given the live stream option. Let's see how to do that. Before that, kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the useful videos and the notification. Yes, in your computer, just open Zoom application which is installed in the desktop exe. Yes, so I just open that. Just log in with your free account. This is a basic account. I don't have any other uh, original account. I have the basic versions. So the basic version is allowing 40 minutes and 100 participants. I would like to give my uh, webinar widely, worldwide wants to see all the people means I can able to host the meeting with the live stream option. Yes, just I would like to create a new meeting. Just I click new meeting. Yes, check your camera and mic working properly. Yes, now I would like to convey the message. If you are going for the live means you need, you should not have your headphone. So, Without headphone, you are giving your talk means automatically the desktop volume will be reached to your audience. So this is a major important thing. And just check your camera and mic is working properly. Yes. So now my mic and camera is working properly. So now I would like to invite the participant. So this meeting ID and password using that, I can able to invite the people for the Zoom meeting app. I have one more participant has joined to my meeting so now i would like to create a facebook live stream option yes just open your zoom application so now the audio and video everything is working properly just open chrome browser and go to facebook account yes so now i have opened the facebook account in facebook account just click a live video option in your timeline yes they have given the live video just click the button automatically live streaming will be start over the setting option yes it is directed to the live streaming option so now the camera is working in a zoom application so in your live stream this is a live stream go live now option is there so go live it won't be work waiting for the live video because your camera should be work for the facebook live so your camera is working for the zoom now what you should do the first step just click the zoom meeting application and switch off your camera so that is your main important first stop video yes so I have stopped my video. This is my video. This is my students, the participant video. So my video, I have stopped my video. Just open the Facebook page and just give refresh. Now the Facebook page will be refreshed and the Facebook page camera will be on. Now the go live will be, uh, the link will be activated. Yes, the first step is gets over. So now I would like to make a setting option. Yeah, here you will have a stream option here. End live video stream stop. So once the uh, video will end automatically stream will be stopped and embedded live video. So get embedded code and unpublish after live video ends. So if you would like to publish in your timeline to your participant or your friends wants to view means you just enable the things means automatically your friends if they miss means they can able to view the video yes so the viewing option allow viewers to rewind and see if you want you can give the all the options yes so now i can check my audio and video camera working properly for the facebook because if you are going for the live means you need to check your audio whether audio is working properly just check a default microphone i am using microphone because of a recording purpose i'm using microphone do not use your microphone directly open your laptop mic so that your mic will be reached to your audience so my suggestion so check your audio whether it's working properly or not yes now 
the first step is gets over now the start screen share option just to click start screen share option you will find your entire screen on application window or chrome tab so now i have opened the application that is zoom window so select application window and select zoom application yes now you can share yes so now i have shared my screen yes that my screen is shared now just to go to the same thing same page now you would like to give your information that is if you are going to the live means you need to share with your timeline or page for example if you are maintaining your business page is the page the page those who have in your business page that people wants to show that people wants to watch your video means share with your managing page or your timeline for example your facebook timeline you want to share means you can share with your timeline and share with your group if you have a facebook group you can share with your group so you can choose according to your needs so i have selected share to my timeline and this is a public view or private view or friends view you can choose according to your need and give your title so how vexed live so i can give a vexed live say something about so live something i can give go live option once one two three yes my page is in live start streaming option started yes my page is in live yeah so live stream is started so now i can open my application my application also is shared so now you can switch on your camera now your camera also working properly this is a audience view this is your view so you can able to talk with your uh, uh, participant or audience the live is going on yes so you can see the live option also is running over there so your zoom application also running over there yes so now i would like to show you one more thing once you are in the zoom application you are conducting online a uh, webinar or any other things just check your speaker whether your speaker is reaching your audience just click speaker right click and open volume mixer just click means automatically volume mixer will be open here and check all the volume should be high level yes the major important just scroll up you will find chrome that is chrome via chrome only we are live uh, we are broadcasting our live things so just check chrome browser should be the volume should be high and zoom meeting also should be high level so make sure all your audio should be high level check your speaker and microphone automatically so that your voice whatever voice you are giving automatically it will reach to your audience yes now i would like to show you so one more page i can open yes so this is my live page is running so this is my another account i can play and see what is live is happening so live is going on so that whatever i'm talking in the zoom application it will be reflect in my uh, timeline so that is my friends timeline it will be there so you can see so using this option we can able to live our facebook that is our uh, seminar or webinar whatever things you would like to uh, give your information to your audience means using this option free version facebook live you can give your information worldwide yes so now i would like to stop streaming option end live so first you would like to stop the sharing option just to click stop sharing automatically your sharing will be stopped over here yes now go to the facebook page and close so end live live stream is ended now you can see the view posting trim your video or create clipping or delete so whatever things if you want to view your post you can view your post as i said uh, otherwise you can give trim your video line whether you start late or end late and you can trim your video or create your clipping delete your video now this is a demo one so are those so why i am deleting that i delete the video so this step is very easy to create your video and give your video with the live option
होप दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प यू टू क्रिएट योर लाइव स्ट्रीम ऑप्शन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ ग्रेट एंड गुड डे